For the last few months, we have been using many AI tools to help with coding. These tools are powerful, but there's still one big problem. You have to explain everything clearly to the AI. If you even miss a small detail, the AI starts guessing on its own. And when that happens, the AI result is often wrong. The code goes into a different direction and you don't get what you actually wanted. But today, I wanted to show you a tool that solves this problem properly. This tool is called Tracer. Tracer is an AI coding assistant built for real projects and large code bases. Instead of directly writing code, Tracer first helps you to plan everything clearly. Think of Tracer as a middle layer between you and the AI. It makes sure the AI fully understands what you want before it starts coding. Before when plan is clear, the output is also clear. So now let's start and take a moment to look what Tracer can do for us. So first of all, let's install Tracer. This is the Tracer official website from where you can install Tracer for free. Just click on install for free button. Tracer works with popular IDEs like VS Code, Cursor, WinSurf and even GitHub. In this video, I'm going to install it for VS Code. If you don't already have VS Code, don't worry, just visit the VS Code website. I will put link in the description box below and you can simply download it for your operating system. Once you install your preferred IDE, open it and go to the extensions tab. Now here you need to search for Tracer AI. Click on it and you can just uh, click on install button. I already installed it so you will see it's enabled here. During the first time setup, you will need to sign up your account using GitHub. After that, you are ready to use Tracer. Once Tracer is installed, you will see a new Tracer icon inside the VS Code. You can just click on it and you will see this interface. One important thing to remember that before using Tracer, you must open a project folder. In my case, I am opening this by dragging and dropping into VS Code. You can use any project, React, Next.js or even a simple JavaScript app. Before starting, I will first ask Tracer what it can do. So I will simply type what can you do. You don't need to be a prompt expert. You can talk to Tracer in a normal English. Tracer works in a three main step. Phases, plan and execute. Phases means to understand the task and break it down. And the plan is to create a detailed file level plan and execute and review to apply the changes safely. This, this makes it different from the normal AI tool that jumps straight into the code. Now let me quickly show you the project I'm working on. This is my website called Goal Hive, a habit tracking application. This is the code base I will use to demonstrate Tracer. Now I will go back to VS Code. I will paste a simple prompt, analyze the Goal Hive code base and explain how the habit tracking and the streak logic works. Then identify areas where bugs or edge cases could appear. That's it. You can see how simple is this. I'm not giving files, names or technical details. Tracer figures out everything on its own. Once I send this prompt, Tracer analyzes the entire project and now you can see the output. It explains how the app works. It finds the critical issues. It even highlights the edge cases and the improvement. This is something that usually takes hours of manual review. Now comes to the most important part. Instead of fixing things randomly, we can click on the generate phases. Tracer now converts all these findings into a clear development phases. If you scroll down, you can see it's generating structured phases for each issues. Once the phases are ready, we can review them, modify them or add or remove phases if needed. We stay full in control. So now you can see after reviewing the phases, we can click on the plan. Tracer now creates a detailed implementation plan explaining what needs to be fixed in which order and also in which files. Only after this step do we execute any things. This approach prevents mistake, broken logic and the AI errors. In next step, I will show you how we can execute this plan safely and review the changes before applying them. Now you can see this is the plan that Tracer created for us. It gives us complete step-by-step -step implementation plan explaining exactly what needs to be done. At this point of time, we don't have to manually copy anything. We can directly hand over this plan to a VS Code agent like GitHub Copilot or other supported agents. You can now see here Tracer gives us multiple options. We can hand it to VS Code. We can just use Cloud Code. We can use other supported agents or even we can chat with the plan and modify it before execution. Once we choose the agent, Tracer automatically sends the correct prompts to the VS Code. And now on the right side, you can see VS Code is making changes for us. Tracer is not writing random code. It's following the exact plan we reviewed earlier. After all changes are made, we get another important option, Verify. This is where Tracer checks whether the changes were implemented correctly or not. I will click on the Verify button now. You can see the verification process has started. This usually takes one minute or two minutes. During the verification, Tracer reviews the update files, the logic changes, and whether everything matches the original plan. If something is missing or incorrect, Tracer will tell us exactly what needs to be fixed and we can simply give new instruction to the VS code. So now we will wait here until all steps is completed. So now you can see verification is completed but Tracer found one small issue. Instead of stopping here, Tracer gives automatically new instruction to the VS code agent to fix that issue. On the right side, you can see VS code is now rewriting and fixing the remaining problem. 
once the fix is done we can simply re-verify the changes i already run the re-verification and now you can see all the changes are completely correctly everything is marked as good if you want to run another re-verification or you can start a fresh validation from scratch this gives you full control at every step and now you can see all three stages are completed planning execution and verification the same process can be repeated for all the remaining phases you can either generate a plan for each phases or directly hand over to your ai agent that's basically how this work now let's quickly talk about the pricing and other features as well this is Tracer official website and as you can see Tracer works with almost all popular AI agents it supports VS Code, GitHub Copilot, Cloud Code, Cursor and many other AI tools as well when it comes to pricing Tracer offers multiple plans there is a free plan then paid plan starting from $10 per month and for the per user personally I think the light plan is a great starting point but if you want more advanced feature the $25 plan is the best value Pricing goes up to $40 per user and per month depending on your needs. I will add all the pricing plan details in the description box below. I hope this gave you a clear idea of how Tracer helps you plan, execute and verify code changes without confusion. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.